You let me think that you slept with her and that her baby was yours. I will never understand how you could do that to me. I'm sorry, I brought it up. Okay, we're having a session next time. I mean, I try to put it out of my mind. I do, because I cannot afford to focus on negative things right now, but that does not mean that I've forgotten. I understand. I'm sorry. How can you even be the same person? I mean, no one could be taking better care of me than you are right now, but yet a year ago. That's all I'm scared. All right, I was scared. I'm, there's no excuse for what I did. Yeah, no, I'm scared. You're my husband. I feel like I barely even know who you are. That's not true. You know who I am. You just don't trust my judgments yet. How can I? When I was so completely clueless. And the story you told me the other day about why you can't go back to Australia because these cattle thieves are trying to kill you? How do I even know that's true? You don't know it's true. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. You could have six wives and 20 kids back there for all I know. No, just take me home, please, because I'm tired. Don't read it. How could anyone read into you stalling the finalization of our divorce? <clears throat> I have legitimate concerns about the fairness of this agreement, okay? Okay. Can we have a minute? <clears throat> All right, what's going on? I told you. You agreed to everything in that settlement. You practically let me write it. You didn't give a damn. When it comes to Delia, I offered you custody of her. So you know that there's not an issue there. So what is the problem? It's a matter of principle. You have principles now. Hey, look, you manipulated me into this relationship. You probably got pregnant on purpose, and now you're gonna you're gonna prosper from it. It doesn't really settle with me. Okay. What about? What about me moving on and you seeing me with someone else and, well, someone else sleeping with your wife and raising your daughter? How's that sitting with you? You're going to believe whatever it is you want to believe. Well, what I would really like to believe, Billy, is that if you're having the slightest twinge of regret, then just please call off this entire thing right now so your daughter can actually grow up with both of her parents. We passed that now. Miss Alton? Um, I, I'm sorry. It seems as if we have wasted your time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have been better prepared. Um, I'll call it to reschedule. You can sign it now if you're ready. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait and figure out what Billy wants. Thank you. I told you where to find Mary Jane. Why didn't you just go straight there? Yeah, I should have done that. Cops are swarming all over the place. If we could get in, we'd never be able to get her out. Well, well there's a million dollar reward. There's a way. An idea. Come on. Jack Abbott. Why are you here? I always thought you'd be the one to save me. A song? Mary Jane? By Paul Beckman, Paul Bimbo's song. All brand strawberry medley cereal with real strawberries, granola oat clusters, really? and crunchy wheat squares. It's a delicious way to get... August 25th, 2009. Using the guitar chords. B minor and G. This song's going to be called... I'm Mary Jane, come save me, Jack. Well, I'm Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, come save me, Jack, come save me, Jack. Ah! I'm Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, come save me, Jack. Save me, Jack, come save me, Jack. I'm Mary, 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 Mary Jane. I'm Mary, 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 Mary Jane. I'm calling you 
once again. Come save me, Jack. Come save me, Jack. 